Tailwater fishers can be quite the challenge, yet are some of our favorite waters to fish. They provide great hatches, produce some big fish, and always make for great memories. It seemed like an obvious plan then for Dad and I to meet up with Dan on some of Montana's best tailwater fisheries to kick off a Montana adventure. but we're actually gonna break up the trip a little bit, fish the big one on the way out. Yesterday we left Pennsylvania, drove 17 hours through the entire Midwest, and made it the whole way to Sioux Falls, where we slept in a Walmart parking lot, and actually slept uh, for probably about six hours, so it was pretty good rest. Uh, right now we're still in South Dakota and making our way to the big one. We should be there probably about two o'clock today be able to fish a little bit tonight and then fish a little bit tomorrow morning. Take exit 509 on the right toward Crone Agency, then take the first left. So we just pulled into Fort Smith here about uh, two o'clock today, and we just set up our camp, stopped in at a fly shop, asked for some information. I guess nymphs have been really productive here of late. Uh, so we're probably gonna start off with that. Dry fly activity has been sporadic. We're kind of at a transition period now between PMDs, black caddis, and trichos. So uh, just got to the water here, fully rigged up now and just kind of taking an observation of, of uh, the stream here. First time I've fished it, the water is up uh, from the information that we got at the fly shop. So we're gonna be fishing real close to the bank. Let's get the fish in here. All right. Just hooked into a brown here. And there it is. It was on a size 14 Lively Legs pheasant tail. I'll let him go here. I. Uh, just imitating that PMD. Unfortunately, the water's been really high and we kind of figured we'd be up against it right here because it's a little shallower, but it's just ripping through here. But one of the only places we can get in and I actually hooked into it right across from me. So hopefully that's a good sign. Uh, at least we found a, a fly that they like here. Fishing a real tough drift right now. This is where dad actually just caught one. You can kind of see, uh, the eddy formed by that little island. You throw up in there and there's no movement to the indicator, so you gotta kinda throw in the seam and kick your line in. Uh, he actually picked up one, one got off. Uh, I think we worked this pretty good. I fished a little bit, so did Dad. So we're gonna keep working our way up, but it's tough because the water's so high and as you can see, it's, it's pretty deep. Fish from the bank, uh, you're up against it a little bit. Just started raining here, so we got chased off the stream. So we got chased off the river here a little bit earlier. It absolutely poured. There was thunder, lightning. We drove back as quick as we could because we wanted to make sure that the tent was going to be okay. We're going to probably make some supper and go to bed here because after that long drive, we're still really tired. Going to give it a go tomorrow morning though and see what we can do. First and final morning here in Fort Smith. Beautiful morning on the Bighorn. So we're on the river here again this morning. Uh, this is gonna be, we're gonna fish the morning here, then we're gonna leave, but hopefully uh, with our change in tactics, we might have a little bit more luck. Yesterday, we only, we each only, only caught one, but considering the circumstances, I actually think we did pretty well talked to uh, two other groups of guys none of them caught fish the water is really up we're at about 9,000 CFS 
good waiting conditions is uh, 4,000. So it's it's moving, rolling down pretty good. Uh, it's tough to get the flies down, but we're going to switch tactics here. Really try and hit the soft edges. Uh, going with a tight line rig. I have an 11 foot, 3 weight, risen fly rod there, 23 PS nymph rod. Going to do some Euro tactics, some tight line tactics. Going to start out with a, a, a sulfur pertagone and hopefully that's going to be what it takes to to maybe get our fly down and, and try and hit some of these softer eddies but i got a really good one right here we're going to give that a shot and see what happens Finally hooked into my first uh, that I landed anyways. I lost, we think, some two decent ones, but uh, I have a barbless, pretty heavy hook on. Uh, so they threw it, but here, a little brown. We're just uh, continuing to tight line this, this section here, and it seems to be probably the best way to, to kind of get your fly down and, and uh, fish some of these eddies in, in soft water. Uh, where these fish are lying at. Uh, seeing some guys successful in drift boats, but from the bank here, even just talking to other people, no one's catching fish. So it's been pretty slow. We're gonna try and fish it up the whole way uh, on the access here and probably just head to the Missouri, but uh, hopefully we can at least get a couple more, maybe a couple nicer ones though. We left Fort Smith uh, about two hours ago and we're heading up to the Missouri here and looking at the forecast seems like rain's going to be uh, kind of here in the afternoon every once in a while so hopefully we luck out and it's not as bad as it was yesterday but we're really looking forward to getting to the Missouri. Dad, Dan, and I are going to do a float trip. We rented a drift boat. Good night. I'm going to, I'm going to have to break this fish off. We saw caddis all over the place. I mean, you can see it. I just can't believe how they just keep eating. They don't care. That is one nice fish. All right. 